Today we're going to be doing a cutout, so we've got an existing wood frame. We're going to be taking it out as well as a transom above the door. We're going to be installing an iron unit with an iron transom. Door changeouts are something that some homeowners can do by themselves, but if you're going from a wood or fiberglass unit to something like an iron unit, it's a lot more involved, and that's where you're going to want to pull in some professionals like Select Door and Hardware in Fort Worth, Texas. Pues no se suelta también allá. No la quiero quebrar. Mira. Se hace una pipeta. Ah, ok. Ok. Okay, so they're trying to get the trim off here in one piece because they're going to put it back up kind of temporarily. Uh, there's going to be a the homeowner's got another guy coming in that's going to do the trim because uh, the interior trim is not included in a iron door package. Here we have Angel and Juan with a reciprocating saw. They're cutting out all the screws and nails that are between the door frame and the studs of the house. This will let loose of the frame and they can remove it. At this point, Angel and Juan are removing the brick mold and any other exterior trim. Here we've got Juan displaying some of his pro vacuuming skills. He's cleaning the area up so Angel can then come in with his one before. He's going to caulk it. And then they're going to set the frame on top of this one before. That way it's going to clear the hardwood floor and the hardwood floor doesn't have to be cut back. So I did not get the privilege of picking up the door, just the door frame, and the door frame was pretty heavy. So I imagine that door was extremely heavy. Juan, was that door heavy? It sure is. Okay. So I got big one. right in okay so with these iron doors we've got a couple different options here we got you know the glass isn't in yet but we have several options there and they're all hinged you can open up the glass you've got two rotor catches and that's what secures your door in and you can see it's not going anywhere so you got roller catch roller catch and then you'll have the spot here for the deadbolt here's angel working with the threshold he's prepping it so it can get anchored down Angel's got the threshold in place and all the holes are pre-drilled. Now we're going to get to bolting this down and anchor it and then we'll get on to the next step. That's the threshold. You can step on it, it's not bumpy. Or... It's good to go, huh? It's not all right. loose. Angel's just cutting down this door sweep to put underneath the door. We keep it on with a 3M tape, so he's applying the tape to it right now. It's double sided. This stuff's actually used to keep uh, car emblems on, so it lasts, it tends to last forever. Oh, yeah. Now Angel's cutting the weather strip to size and getting it installed in the frame. This is going to keep all the air and daylight out. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we've got the door in now and we've got the frame. Uh, so we've got it all weather stripped, ready to go. Next step's gonna be putting in the glass. Since this one's a remodel, we're gonna go ahead and put it in now. At this point, we'd wrap the door if it was new construction with plastic and secure it and uh, come back and install the glass later at the end of the job. All right, what are we doing here, Angel? Okay, now it's a weather strip glass. So this prevents the water comes in and you don't shut the door. Okay, so this fits in pretty much just like the door did, just drops into place and then we'll open and shut and lock and let some cool breeze in. Okay Juan, what you got going on over here? What we have going on over here is we're painting our brick mold to match the door. Wow, is that wood? It's uh, it's going to be, uh, it's a plastic brick mold. Oh wow. It'll last a lot longer and it'll hold, because this is a special paint. It has some uh, copper in it. Yeah. So we go ahead and primer it black and then we hit it up with some of this. And yeah, looks just like the door. Okay, so Angel's getting some trim put in, or some filler put in here, I guess you'd say, so that he'll have something to um, nail the trim to that Juan's over there painting. And then we were talking and he said the best way to do it is get the trim all the way around it and then shoot the uh, foam, expanding foam from the inside. It says he shoots the foam from the inside so that it doesn't um, leak out over anything. So the brick lintel a lot of times is painted the same color as the trim on the house. When we install our door, we paint the brick lintel black uh, and then so that it matches most of the door. Then we also come in and with the hardware, we put a, a dead bolt on there or handle set, whatever the case may be. This one has an iron handle and we will key this alike to match the rest of the house. This part project is complete. Uh, we like to thank Select Door for this project and also brought to you by the Improvement Channel. Now we can get any custom door you want like this, any type of panel at the bottom, any ironwork you want, glass choices. There's about eight to 10 glass choices. Uh, if you want to contact Select Door and Hardware for a quote, we'll put a link down in the description to our website. We look forward to seeing you on the next project.